and hello YouTube and happy Halloween to everybody and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me your host Jonathan once again bringing you my thoughts and review for last night's episode of Supergirl just wanted to say happy Halloween again that was fun but um yeah um so last night's episode of Supergirl is obviously episode uh, oh yeah, four, three. Anyway, anyway, it's one of them. I think it's four. But um, it was a pretty good episode. Very interesting episode too. Very weird way of um doing it. But you know, I didn't think they ever do an episode like this. But it was actually pretty cool. So in this episode, we got to see a quick like season one flashback of episode one when Kara, Cora, sorry, Cora, you know, when she saved the plane that, you know, Alex was on, and, you know, you got to see other people in that plane as it was going down, and it got saved by Supergirl, and then you see this one guy who sees Supergirl for the first time, and she's not wearing the costume, you all know that, she wasn't wearing her glasses to, you know, do anything, she was just car without the thing. So then, you know, moving forward to the present day, Cora finds out about this secret religion, that's basically worshipping Supergirl. You know, a lot of people... It's like basically going to a church or a synagogue or, you know, whatever how people, you know, um, view their gods. Anyway, so Supergirl, like, just tries to figure out like, what's going on. So she goes to, the, like, the secret meeting about this, you know, this religion. And then she finds out that these people are really, literally worshipping her. As a guy, you know, they tell him stories of how, how she saved this person or this person or these people. And she's like wondering, like, why are they worshiping her, per, worshiping her like a god? You know, and that's a, that's the thing about Superman and Supergirl. They basically are gods in that, in, you know, in those worlds. And people worship them in them. And she was like probably thinking a little creepy, you know. But hey, a lot of people have... Their own way to worship people, God or whoever their gods are, whatever shape or form it is, that's how it is, you know. People worship that, and that's a good thing. So, you know, Cora was, I guess, feeling a little uncomfortable in the beginning, but then she realized, you know what, maybe, you know, maybe that's what people believe, you know, she doesn't know how to deal with that. And then, of course, this guy who was making the belief that she was a goddess or god in, in their world, you know, to have people believe in her, they had to get into certain situations so that Supergirl will save them. And like I said, I thought this episode was pretty cool. It was a very unique way of taking the episode, taking, you know, this show. You know, showing how people really view her as, you know, instead of an alien in outside of their world. And they see her not only that, but they do see her as a god or a sign of something. You know, the same thing, if you ever watch, you know, Batman v Superman, you remember that one scene where people were in a flood and then Superman was just hovering up there and people were just going like this to him and asking for help. And they will, you know, obviously they have his symbol painted on their, their roof that was basically them praying to him to come and save them. And, you know, that's what the people do. There are people in those worlds, in that world, obviously, who worship Superman and Supergirl, you, you know, as gods, so, and then of course you get to this one moment in the episode which I still can't figure out, but um, because it goes to the ending where, if you remember the first episode of season three where you saw like this crash like cocoon thing, whatever it was in the water, and then it got rescued by him or whatever, he ended up having it, and then Supergirl buried it up the, underneath the ground because it was a bomb, and it had kryptonite into it as well. And then, of course, um, we find out that that thing looks to be um, unhatching, I get hatching, if you will. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's very strange. And then we go to another place that looks like a spaceship where we see a tube and somebody's hand goes out. And we don't know what the hell that is. That could be mon -El, That could be another threat coming to Earth. I don't know. That was creepy, and then if you remember episode, I think it was episode two, where that mom lifted up the thing to save her daughter. She was basically visited by some weird-looking, grudge-looking creature, and either she's gonna be maybe a doomsday character, I don't know, 
a threat for Supergirl. That was all weird, but this is starting to get really interesting, and I can't wait to see more. But, um, yeah, so, anyway, leave a comment below, and let me know what you guys thought about the episode, because I thought it was pretty cool, and I want to know what's going to happen next. I want to know what the heck is in that cocoon, or whatever the heck that thing was. I want to know what, what was in that tube that we had his hand sticking out. Was it mon -El? Was it some kind of alien that's about to come to Earth? What's up with the mom? Is she going to become, like, the mummy or something? I, I don't know what the heck that... Because she had, like, weird tattoo things all over her face and body and hands. And then five minutes later, she just it just goes away. And then she sees this weird grudge creature. It, it looks to be very cool, so I'm very curious to see what happens next. And I want to know what you guys thought about the episode, too. So leave a comment below and let me know. And stay tuned for more. And if you're going out tonight for Halloween, be safe. Have fun. Remember... Halloween's supposed to be fun, behave, do cool, be cool, and uh, happy Halloween. Thank you very much and have a good day.